we'll get into it. Okay. Uh, but I did want to tell bad. you, so you said be careful on the road. I wanted to share a little thing. I thought there's a little, is there's an interesting uh, exchange that I had this week that I was probably too high for, and that's why I, I took more than what I needed to from it. But uh, I wanted to share this with you guys. I want to get you guys' opinion because okay. it did have to do with the road. Um, so I was on the road, and I was driving behind this guy for quite a while. He did not use his turn signal. We'll say, so first time he didn't use his turn signal, we were turning into, like, the mall area. You guys know what I'm talking about, but this is yep. crossing a busy road. Mm-hmm. Um, so that had me a little infuriated. I was I was, I was ripping wood grain, as uh, Pip C might say, but not in, like, a good way. I was pissed. Um, and uh, and then so I, I'm behind him still. We both have to pull into this area. Uh, he makes another turn into this plaza area. No turn signal. And I'm like, okay, now he really did it. Whew. The first time I'm like, should I honk the horn? I'm a horn honker. I will get on that bitch. So it's like, yeah. So it's like, I decided not to. I decided to take the higher path. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to, I don't need to have any, you know, uh, altercations there or anything like that. It's going to be cool. So the second time though, I'm like, damn, he really is like, it's like in the, the it's, one. yeah. Well, and it's like he he's just either dick. doesn't know what the yeah. fuck he's doing or like what. He I don't has know. no courtesy he's for those around him. No awareness of the fucking, just uh, you know, an asshole turn moving. signal. Just a moving thing. asshole. Yeah, definitely a moving asshole. So <laughs> we end up parking and we get out of the car and I'm like, okay, do I want to say something to him at this point? Do I want to inform him like, hey, you have a thing to <laughs> like signal that you're gonna turn asshole? Um, well, I decided not to for whatever reason. Once again, I was I on, you. I was walking a peaceful path that yeah. day. Like, high, you got, you got to, I was, yeah, I, I was high. Out, I was actually, in, like I was, brother. I was actually going to get some more weed at the moment. Yeah. So I was like, I was, I was, uh, Don't yeah, just ruin your day. I was walking a peaceful path for sure. <laughs> the path of uh, a pacifist at that time of a Buddha. And uh, um, still open. Mall still open. They're about still, to turn that bitch yeah, into like condos. Yeah, it's yeah. still there they, they was, right they, now. They was, they was doing that last year, but I, I love that. Good question. But let's try to make sure that's on the actual story. You feel what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm just with you. But no, the uh, um, but no. So yeah, I end up pulling in. We end up. So I don't say anything to the guy. We end up actually going into the same place. We, I don't even really realize that we don't have any interactions. But as I'm leaving, I hold the door open for the guy. Just I'm not thinking about it, just because I would do that for anybody. And um, we end up. He says thank you, which are obviously nothing. Some the only thing that pisses me off more than people not using their turn signals, motherfuckers that don't say thank you when you hold mm-hmm. the door open for them. Like that's just supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, like it's my job. Around. It's crazy. Um, so <laughs> either way, so he said thank you. We ended up talking about Easter. You know, happy Easter. It was like a pleasant interaction. So what made me think about this? I was thinking that it with the exact same person, the exact same two people involved in that interaction. It could have went the exact opposite way. And just based off like oh, me making a different decision and like, I mean, I, he could have like made a better decision, like use his fucking turn signal, but whatever. Uh, but my point being is that those two people, how many times are there scenarios like that where there's like several different ways that something could end up playing out? And in that case, I learned a lesson from it where it's like I actually had a pleasant conversation with the person that if I would have told them like, hey, what the fuck happened with this turn signal? I might have left there been like that guy is a piece of shit. So one yeah. thing it also makes me think of, too, is maybe like not not overvaluing first impressions of people you know what i mean mm-hmm. and really writing them off right away you know based yeah, on whatever you see i think it's good for you that's as a, a person one. you as a person i think it's probably good to be like i want to make the best first impression possible because you can't control how other people take that right. so the whole saying of like be- the best impression or f- is a first impression or whatever that I, I i agree with that still but i think at, from actual practice you know, like that guy showed obviously that he's capable of not being like also when I was holding the door open for him, this was an interesting thing because it had to do with like being uh courteous. thoughtful. Yeah, courteous. He was like rushing. He's like, Oh, let me hurry up, you know. Like some people, that's obviously not even a thing. <laughs> so I'm like, he's like, Oh, let me hurry up, get my bag and shit like that. So I'm just like, there's things where I'm like, you know, I came to actually appreciate the person rather than okay. yeah. like just like I said, literally write them off and, and then also take away. I like also I took away like kind of like some happiness and joy from the interaction rather than if the opposite situation, even if I cussed him out and really gave him the what's for, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. I still would have taken away hate or like just anger from the situation. At the very least, even if not hate, anger when in the car, I'm still carrying that interaction with me. When I get home, I might be carrying that interaction with me. Instead, I was carrying like a little bit of like a joy, happiness. Ha- I was happy with my own restraint because yeah. definitely, like I said, I'll lay on that horn like a motherfucker. So it's like I I wanted <laughs> to do that. That was my first instinct. Did it on the way here. <laughs> you're not even driving that far it's wild no, uh, no, no i'm saying from cape from cape from cape got in the um driveway uh, 
wife came outside. What are you doing? You crazy? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Jane Spades, what's up? What's going on? Uh, stick around because we are definitely going to get into that Chinese travel advisory. I'd love to hear your opinion on that. Um, heard about that yet. Yeah, as well as we're going to talk about the food aid uh, that Israel <sighs> accidentally, shot. accidentally, yeah, shot. accidentally, <laughs> accidentally shot. But, um, um, no, yeah. I, I am, I'm, I commend you. Okay. Now, see, nice. I, nice. Well, I, I usually that. I love taking the high road because I'm always a like just don't be the 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 stain in someone's day. Mm. And and I've never really cared. Like first impressions, obviously, like I, I'm a big obviously like walk away from it and have some shit to say to to Lauren, you know, like mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and we joke around. Yeah. But I'm very like I'm gonna give you so much patience anyway. and, yeah. and, and understanding that we're just people, right? But for some reason, when I get behind the wheel, it goes completely away. And everybody's a fucking asshole to me. Why? Are, like, like for example, okay, we pull up to, to, to a red light. Mm-hmm. Why are you three, two car lengths back? Pull up. I understand I want to get on someone's that. ass, yeah, but yeah. pull up. There, You're blocking yeah. people from being able to get to that left-hand turn. turn like, yeah, you're you're right. blocking people. You're, you're slowing it down. Okay. Fast. And, the, I the, got, the, and I still got to try to squeeze past you. Right. Anyways, so I got to put the, both our cars over. So the light turns green. The light turns green. Go. 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 You don't have to slam it, but yeah, go. There shouldn't yeah. be a three, four, five second delay. Yeah, don't be the dickhead that also, like, once the light turns green. Bah, bah. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah give it time. And then, and then, like, why is there a yeah. five car length gap when everyone's turning left? So what are we doing? Are we waiting for them to clear the intersection before we turn left on a green light? Stop yeah. blocking intersections. Don't do Wait that. your mm. turn. Wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry that we're all yeah. in this game but and we're some, all here. Wait your fucking turn, man. Sometimes some some when you cross over that intersection, you don't know you're going to stick out. Well, no, well, you have to wait. That's where the patience. You have you to have that. patience. But it's, and then, so. and then when you're when you're <laughs> driving and there's a, a dry and an, a pull in an entry or an exit way, you are not allowed to block that at a red light. You have to leave those open. People yeah. have to be able to get in and out. It's like, like I'm yeah. sorry again. These are just the, the 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 rules of the road that we're all supposed to follow. Do, do you remember the? Uh... Uh, I'm not like in detail, but do you remember the drug and alcohol test that you had to take to get your yeah, license here? Yes. So, yeah. well, just because you mentioned something that actually has to do with that, with like, why are you so pissed off when you're on the road and stuff like that? I actually, say because you are in like a heightened state of awareness. So Fair you're enough. like kind of are on edge. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't mean, know if you remember them saying, but they're like, never drive angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's impossible. Like, yeah, it, driving makes me angry. Yeah. Well, like, driving makes me so. I gotta stop every angry. five minutes for a reason. And, 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 and I try to remember. All happen. Hey, babe. Bye, babe. Yep. You know. Yeah, I, and I mean, then hi, kids. Yeah, dude, you know, I, like yeah, ever if, if, if you talk while you drive, and like uh, like I talk to like my coworkers, and I talk to Lauren, and it's funny. Like everybody now, everybody I talk to that, that they drive, there's a moment when we're on the phone where they're screaming. They're screaming at the road, and I'm like, "Damn, yep, yep, we all do it." Okay, I yeah. can't feel so bad, yeah. but it's just—it's all the time. Not using your blinkers, it's just—it's just constant dickery yeah. every step of the way. I get to screaming though. I'll be honest. I, I, yeah, I'll get Again, that. I'm an emotional I'll, reactor, and then a very compassionate understanding. No, but, but okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm more likely. I'm more like. I'm, I'm, it's highly likely that I'll degrade. The other drivers while I'm driving, obviously, oh. I'm definitely degrading them you and using them like, yeah, I'm definitely cussing them out. And they're probably the nicest person scream. in the world. Yeah. Just look, stop, like we I'm, all text and drive. If you suck at it, stop it. I blame <laughs> it on the car. That's true. Whatever car they're driving, I don't blame it on the person mm-hmm. driving the car. That's I always okay. blame it on the car. Yeah, well, look at that car. <laughs> That's yeah, fair. You know, that's fair. That's fair. That's highly, highly illogical. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but, but, you know, you're, you're, you're taking that, that beer hatred for the individual. Yeah, it's somewhere else. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. an inanimate object. I feel, that. Object I feel that a lot. That's being controlled, by the way. So, yeah, it's totally on the person. But, um, yeah, it's hard, bro. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like every day is like you just deal with. And I keep saying, I'm like, I'm like every day I'm dealing with assholes and assholes. and assholes. Yeah. Again, now, in retrospect, am I the asshole? Because I'm the one that doesn't have a tender window and you just see me. <laughs> <laughs> just behind damn. the wheel and it's like damn yeah that motherfucker's throwing a tantrum Yo, what is wrong with that <laughs> guy no they made a mistake <laughs> <laughs> I know he talking about me yeah, I, just, I, I know he talking about me there's been a few times on the road where I've had people acknowledge like when they fucked up and that's always like appreciated yeah I almost ran you off the road <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, I appreciate that but when they just do that then they fucking just drive off so, <laughs> I've had that happen more that usually happens. Yeah, yeah oh, they man. don't want to see you. They only want to look me in their eyes. Traffic like together, and then they just like, 
they're like, I can't see shit. I'm fucking Ray Charles over here. Happy you know, day. We do. We're we're in, we're one of those backed up left lanes, right? Yeah. So you see the line go, and you're like, fuck. And so so then the straight goes. So now everyone's <laughs> filling into the red lights, mm-hmm. and then you have this guy, and oh man, you know, an expensive car, who he speeds past everyone, the entire line behind. To just yeah, cut in way. front, and it's like so. Yeah, I rolled down the passenger window, and I just stared, and I waited. And then we looked over. I'm like asshole. And then he looked back and was like messing with his watch. I'm like, 